Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. Meet Munna. Munna is a small kid in India. He was growing up in a very rural part. His parents had just moved to the cities, and he was put into an English medium school. Munna grew up speaking Hindi, which is the majority of the people that speak the language in India. So obviously when he was put into the school where everybody was supposed to speak English, he was everything but loquacious. That was a challenge. And then he did something which he was not supposed to do as a kid, a new kid in school. He opened his mouth. And the kids laughed at him. He was not sure what else to do. A few months later, he tried conversing again. This time, few English words did come out, but they were not perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, the imperfect person, Munna. Munna had to deal with a lot of challenges. And each time he came up to take on the challenge or try to speak the language, he had to face difficulty. Difficulty in terms of conveying his ideas, difficulty in terms of dealing with people who were not kind to him. Have you seen a kid in your school, back in school, when he was picked on because his name was Munna, which I think is a very stupid name, or he wanted to say something and the words meant something very different. As a result, Munna, went back into a corner. Each time somebody picked on him, he had a layer on him. He wanted to hide. But every time he was picked on, he kept getting further away and away from everyone. It would take a mammoth amount of energy to get him out of his shell into the world. And his mom realized that. So she asked him, What's bothering you, son? Munna said, I don't want to go to school. I don't want to learn anything. I think I can do everything at home. His mom wanted to know, what is it? And Munna said, I am an imperfect person. His mom decided to share a story with him. It was a story about two earthen parts. Long ago, a water bearer, before we had these modern facilities of having a faucet where you open the tap and the water comes rushing out, the responsibility of this water bearer was to have this two water pitcher go down to a river, fetch the water, go up the hill to his master's place and provide water services. Everything was fine except that the water pitchers were two different kinds. One was good and the other one had holes in it. So every time he would go down the, to the river, fetch water, one of the water parts will leak, and the other part will have the water intact. So his mom said, you know what happened one day? The part with holes in it told his master, why do you want to keep me? I'm an imperfect part. I don't even carry all the water up to the hill to your master's place. The water pitcher said, I know you leak. I know you don't carry all the waters up to the hill. But I used that weakness, that imperfectness you had to my advantage. I sowed seeds along the way. So every time I carried you, you watered those seeds. They grew up, I got flowers, and every morning I plucked these flowers to my master's prayer service. And that is the answer, why I like you and I have not thrown you away. Son, like this water pitcher, you have your own unique abilities. You are only looking at your imperfectness. My fellow Toastmasters, I want you to look around you and see if you find the person who is imperfect next to you. Maybe you think everyone else is perfect in this room, right? I think so. Hey, if I was really perfect, 
my quiz, my evaluator will not have a job. <laughs> and I would say, all of us are imperfect. Would you like to know where Munna is right now? Munna is a guy who actually did grow up. He was not a child all, all throughout his life. And today he's a loquacious guy. He's in Minneapolis. He's married. He's in Toastmasters. And his mom calls him Ravi Rai. <laughs> <laughs> My fellow Toastmasters, the reason I want to share the story of an imperfect man is each one of us has a flaw, maybe more than one. But we always tend to look at the imperfection rather than the qualities of a person. For many, many years, I was quiet. I would not really share my stories or talk in the class because I had the fear of not speaking the right English or my grammatical. My accent, I always had this fear. What if people don't understand me? Only to realize my accent makes me a very unique person. Look, when you leave this room, you'll remember at least one Asian guy who has an accent and who gave a speech to all of you. I think I'm OK with it, aren't you? And that is what I have been made to feel. The day I came into this country, I never, ever had to deal with that situation where I was made aware of what my origin was, whether I had any imperfection, except what I felt in my heart. I would like to urge you that if you think you have an imperfection, embrace it. Because that is your defining moment. That is your identity. And let all the positive qualities that you have build you up because that is much more than the imperfection. I hope next time you see an imperfect me, you will embrace it. Mr. Toastmaster.